walk, my hard work gon' pay off. I pop my shit, I talk my shit, I can back it up, yeah. It ain't nothing but a G thing. Really shit, that's a G way. In first place, like a relay. Your pockets out of shape, my pockets whole way. They drop the copy me, but they can't duplicate it. Hoes copy and paste, bitches imposters. I be feeling myself, they call me cocky. Shitting on a hater like I'm using a potty. I am what I am, believe the hype, come see about me. Yeah. This your girl Asia B, and I'm at work. I'm an Annie. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. This is Kitty Cats. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. Girl, you gotta say hello. Say hello to the people. Say hey, y'all. <laughs> so she just threw up on me, on us. Yep, don't show them girls how to stew up. So, we about to grab a paper towel. Um, welcome to a day in the life of a nanny. This ain't all of it, but this some of it. This is lunchtime. Um, she's so sweet. She is so sweet. Like, when I tell y'all she is the sweetest. I've been with her family. I've been with her family. How long have I been with your family? I've been with her family for about three years now. <laughs> I've been with her family for about three years now. They have a six-year-old and an eight-year-old. Well, finna be six-year-old and an eight-year-old. Um, oh, child, fix my hair. Um, I was supposed to be done nannying with them. Um... I was supposed to be done nannying with them last year, May was supposed to be, May 26th was supposed to be my last day. And it was my last day, but two weeks prior to that, her mom found out she was pregnant with her. Yay! And so they were like, don't go too far. And I was like, I won't, cause I love y'all. I was blessed to find another family whom the mom I'm very close with. That's my home girl, Miss Bailey. Um, and I was ha I was blessed to have found her and her four children um and that lasted the duration of her being baked and coming out looking like this <laughs> this is my girl she's four months old um and she is the sweetest so y'all just gonna kind of see me just kind of groove and through uh group move and groove through my day with her um I'm gonna try to catch as much as I can up until she is she's a goofball. I'm gonna try to catch as much as I can. Y'all just kind of see my schedule and just see what we do. Um right now I'm about to put her in her her um she has this like little chair thingy she can sit up in and she gets I give her like 20 minutes. That's that's maximum. 20 minutes maximum is what she will get of Miss Rachel because she love her some Miss Rachel. But I usually try to go until either until I'm done doing what I need to do, which is do the dishes right now. Or I will let her, like I said, 20 minutes or up until she let me know, like, um, excuse me, eh, when, when, I don't like this. And then I pick her up. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to sit her in her seat. And turn on Miss Rachel. I'm gonna let y'all catch her reaction of when she see Miss Rachel. It is the cutest thing in the world. Um, Miss Rachel got a fan base, and don't mess with her fan base because they throw up on you. Ain't that right? Say that they throw toys at you. Tell them, boo. Tell them. Mm -hmm. Don't play with Miss Rachel, kids. This ain't the generation to play with. Should we open it and see what's inside? Yes? Let's open it. You say open. Open. Oink, 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 oink. What's that sound? Oink, 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 oink. 
These kids love Miss Rachel. She usually, when I turn around, she. I'm about to wash dishes. Um, and it's only a few. The babies. Bottles. Take a little squirt. And it's a couple of dishes over here. And I like to just. I'm not. I'm the nanny that likes to help. Like, I try to make it to where they have as less stuff as possible to do when they come home or um, when they're done with their day. So they can have more time to spend with their children. Um, so, part of washing dishes, um, especially when I do the baby's bottles, everything has to go in this bag. Um, and this is to sanitize all of her items. So, I thought I'd do something like a couple questions I get asked with being a nanny. Um, how did I find my family is one common question that I always get. I found my family off care.com. Care.com is not a good website to use in 2024. But when I first moved out here, it was a really good website to use to find families and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, got on care.com. And um, they had just so happened, it had just so happened that the nanny that they had at that time, um, she was getting ready to go and move back home. And so, um, with her moving back home, they had me, they were in the process of looking for somebody new. And I came in as like a substitute for her one day when she had something she had to do. And it just so happened that at the end of our, uh, me being, um, me subbing for her basically, stepping in for her. They let me know, like, we're actually looking for somebody. We're looking for a new, we need a new nanny, and we love you. Like, we think you're amazing, and we think that you would be with the kids. And I've been with them ever since. They've been loving on me, and I've been loving on them for the past three years. Um, we are literally one big happy family. I can't even say we like family. We are one big happy family. Um, mom is, um, she's a stay-at-home mom right now. Um, and me and her, we kicked it. She is, she's a good friend of mine. Um, very knowledgeable, very sweet. Um, just all around good people. The dad, he's amazing. I've met most of the family. Not all of them, because they gotta be family. They both have to be family, but I've met most of the family members. They love me, grandmas love me, cousins. All that good stuff, aunties. And I love them. Like I said, these people, they have taken me in as um, real life family. So I'm blessed. Um, how do I set my schedule? Um, we just kind of, I like to sit down with families and we just kind of talk about what their needs are and what my availability is. And then we just come up with a schedule based off of that. Um, how is pay determined? Um, most families, I'm usually like, this is this is my pay rate. Um, sometimes it's negotiable, sometimes it's not. It all depends on what what um, benefits come with me being their nanny. So, like for instance, the family that I'm with now, this family, like I have ten days PTO. I have ten PTO days a year. Um, I have holidays off and paid. Um, I have access to a, a credit card if I need anything while I am working. Um, I get gifts and stuff like that. Like they are really good when it comes to birthdays and you know things like that and Mother's Day. Like they always try to make sure they show their love. Um, even down to my daughter, like she gives stuff to me. Like I said, we like family. Um, we like family. Still washing dishes. I'm almost done. After I wash these dishes, I'm going to take baby girl and she's gonna do like some sit-ups. I have her hold my fingers 
and um, I sit her up and lay her back down to real gain. Also to strengthen her back muscles. Do I like what I do? Yes, I love it. When trade it for the world. I've been doing childcare, um, honestly, since I was 20 years old. I'm 10 years in the game with childcare as a whole. I've been a teacher from infant and toddler rooms and um, preschools up to K-5. I did teach K-5 for like, it was probably like four months. Um, I've been a center director. Um, I ran two childcare sites. Been a receptionist. I didn't do some of everything within to do within a preschool. Like I worked in a preschool for over five years, um, and then after that, I did administration. And then I moved to Texas, and I decided I wanted to be a nanny. I didn't. I was like, I, me personally, I can't. I don't like taking direction. You can lead me, you can guide me, and that's what I feel like my families do. They lead me and guide me on how they would like their household ran or things or how things go before I move in a, run, uh, come in the picture. But for the most part, you know, I work for myself. Um, I couldn't keep working for somebody. I just couldn't. It's not, it's not me. It's not my jam. So with that being said, I had to come down here and become a nanny. I love it. I can wear what I want. Um, within reason, of course, I'm not just naked or, you know, dressed half, you know, just looking a mess or just looking inappropriate. But it's like t-shirt, shorts, tennis shoes. Like, I can do that. This shirt say Players Club. Like, wow, wow. <laughs> That's so TV. Okay, so the dishes are done. Like I said, I have to, this is a, this is a sanitizer. And we fill this up with purified water. Tomorrow they can have more fun. And we'll store that in. And close that in this bag. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Is my job hard? Not really. Um, I've met families that have been challenging. One was so challenging, I had to just, after three weeks, I had to just end the, yeah, I ended my own contract. We out of there. <laughs> Rip. Um, and it was more so because of how I was being treated. But I wish them well. And um, I hope they're doing well. And I wish them well. Send them nothing but love. But um, that can be challenging, just... You know, I've been blessed since I've been a nanny. The families, because they know that I'm a good mother, they know I'm a good person. They, we've been able to work with each other with making sure their kids got what they need. So it's not hard to me. Um, you have a day where you don't get no sleep, then it can be a little difficult, but that's on you. Make sure you get some sleep. Make sure you get some sleep. What's my favorite part of my job? Some people ask me. It's the bonds I build. Yep, it's the bonds. I don't do this for money. I'm not in this for money. Literally in this to 
bill bonds and create lifelong lasting bonds and raise the next generation like this is our next generation she is the next up you know what i'm saying it's, it should be in us as elders and as adults to make sure that these kids you're sliding boo have what they need so say up 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 yay so you sat up that i sat up i sat up Strong gal, so you can get strong gal, Bria. You can get strong. I'm just have her lay back, and then she set herself up. She pulling herself up, which is a good thing. That means her back muscles getting strong. She's so nosy. <laughs> And we just do that a couple times just to strengthen her back. It's water. Ba, it's water. Ba, good job. Water. One day Let's you'll be able to drink the water. In the eggs water is good for us. Put it in, put it in, put it. Okay, so it's lunchtime. Oh, they put Harriet on um Netflix. Um, it's lunchtime. It's twelve twenty-two. Oh, two two two. Come on, ancestors. So for lunch today, not having nothing too heavy because honestly, on the way here I had some French fries. My daughter wanted some French fries, so I had a cup. I had some of hers, half of hers. Okay, so for lunch. I got a turkey sandwich with some kale in it, on it. Mm. It's a tiny sandwich too. Mm -hmm. and I got some tortilla chips. Just a couple. And blackberries. Mmm. Damn. Sparkling water. So at this point, it's nap time. We're going to change her diaper, make her a nice bottle, and she's going to fall asleep while she's drinking the bottle.
bitches imposters. I be feeling myself, they call me cocky. Shitting on a hater like I'm using a potty. I am what I am, believe the hype, come see about me. Yeah.